Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming and more Frostpunk The Last Autumn. You know, I thought we were doing pretty well in the last episode. Getting plenty of resources, starting to stabilize, working on building up that generator, but then we had to deal with noxious gases and unsafe working conditions and explosions, and then a labor union strike, which is just outstanding, isn't it? So, let's take a look at this little ability right here. This is Promise Safety. You promise not to employ people in this workplace unless it is no longer dangerous. If you break this promise, people forced to work here will immediately go on strike. So we have to have the entire, the entire shaft structure unmanned and unworked until we can get it safer. Now, there's this little guy right down here, which says that it is indeed dangerous. Toxic gases, base safety level, blah, 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 high risk of getting ill, risk of accidents. So we need very badly to remove the toxic gases here, which we do have a ventilation shaft for a reason. It could actually bump it to being working 24 hours a day, which would cost me a lot of coal. But maybe that's worth it just to try and help uh, get rid of some of the extra... Get rid of some of the extra toxins. I'm not sure. Does this actually help me in any way? It doesn't change... Um, it doesn't change how much it's affecting the individual buildings. I don't know. Maybe by running it constantly, it does actually clear out the gas a little bit. But if we do that, we're going to start running out of coal. So I'm not sure that's worth it. I, I don't know. I have no idea, really. All right. Well, somehow we have to increase safety then. So toxic gases, yeah, that's a problem. Base safety level, yeah, that's a problem. Um, we already have this. I guess I could build protective structures. And if we're going to do that, we're going to need a few people working on these here. So you might as well spend some wood and just create a bunch. I do know that next time around, for the next structure, or the next part of the structure, we are going to need a few more of these. So I don't mind building a bunch of structural profiles and holding on to a few. But, yeah, that's, that's certainly a thing. All right, well, the other thing we were going to do is if we go to labor, we can actually build the factory inspectorate now. Increasing the safety of up to three workplaces with the lowest base safety level. So, this is an occupation for my engineers to try and improve the safety of various different buildings, including the shaft structure. So, maybe that will help, though I don't know if it will end up being enough. Low chance of going on strike? Yeah, we did promise safety. It may be unhealthy, but as long as it's not dangerous, is that sufficient? I've got no idea. We do have some extra workers in the meantime, though, so let's make sure we are gathering up as much of the coal and uh, wood and steel and stuff as we can. Go ahead and ramp up some of this like so. Just keep bringing in those resources as much as we can here. Uh, what else we want to be doing? We could... Now let's take a look. What are we researching right now? Finer mesh to get extra food. That does make sense. What we probably should do is make sure we are importing some more people. A few more engineers would not go amiss. Maybe a few extra workers as well. But we can't do that because we are waiting for our next batch to arrive in 10 hours. Yikes, dude. This is actually pretty well balanced. It's not that I can just keep bringing in more and more workers. Like, we have to actually be very careful um, with uh, who we are bringing in and for what purpose. You know what I mean? Which is pretty impressive. I, I think they've done a really good job on this scenario. It's just so different. I think that's one of the things I'm just really infatuated about this. You know, it's such a different way of playing the game. So, this is not running all day. Toxic gas concentration will fall tomorrow. Are we... We are 17 hours behind schedule. That is very not good. Um, and indeed, this is now deadly. Okay. So I think we need to be building the factory inspectorate. To do that, though, we're going to need some more wood. If I cancel one of you, we can get up to the amount we need. Let's build that right over... Build it behind the workshops? Sure. Right behind the workshops. That should be fine. And then we'll place down some roads... Along here? No. No, I need more wood for that. Hang on. Why stack up this many uh, this many of these things and waste all my wood? There we go. Let's do this. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Okay, perfect. Go build all those. All right, and let's find out what's going on. Let's see if we can improve the safety. I'm not sure how much it gives us, but that's what it's supposed to do. That's the entire dang point. Um, now, where do I have engineers working right now that we don't need? We could pull some off of medicine, but we already have a lot of people sick. I think the only option, really, until we get some new ones, is to pull back on the workshop itself and bring some over here, which does increase our motivation because we fulfilled our promise like a good boy. I actually have no idea, by the way. If you have five workers assigned here and here and zero here, is that the same as four, four, and two? Does spreading it out help in any way? I have no idea. It probably doesn't. I would think it has to do with the number of engineers working, not uh, the number of facilities working, even if they're at low efficiency, but who knows. All right, so there's some extra engineers. Thank God. 
Um, right now, we're not working, so I have no idea how well that's working for me. Uh, let's go ahead and toss the rest back into research for the time being until I can figure out what else to do with them. Okay, so that's all up and running. Um, when does the work shift start? There we go. Okay, so profiles manufacturing. It is being improved by one, it looks like. So, if I were... Let's see. Looks to me like this is currently at minus two. So if I were to put down a protective structure and then start working it, I think it's a building that is being worked and therefore will have an effect of the factory inspectorate and should go down to zero. So if we can build enough of these, we can improve the safety and get people back to work. And I'm behind schedule, yes, but I mean, it's the best I can do, I think. Um, all right, let's, let's try for this. Finer mesh has been researched. Excellent. We can go for more foraging. Um, we could go for resources. Upgraded docks, I think, makes a lot of sense. Get some extra resources coming in. Let's go for that. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, speed back up. And we have six, so let's go ahead and apply this. And now, I think there's no strike risk, so we should be able to pull people back and get back to work. I hope. And be okay. Because I need to build this thing or else we're going to have problems. You're supposed to meet your milestones. If you fall behind schedule, there is a good chance that you get fired. And I don't want to be fired. Let's pull back a few workers on the public house. And we don't need quite as many here. Let's assign 40. And... Uh, still says it's unhealthy. But this says that it is being impacted and is now considered to be safe. Okay, so we do have people working as we're supposed to. That's good. I'm going to continue building up some of these structural profiles because I know we will need them for next time around. But I guess I'll pull back five more. Dump the rest here. I'm trying to go fast, dang it. All right, let's go over here. Um, I need more workers of all types, basically. Let's order a shipment of five more engineers and ten more laborers. We'll probably need to be building some housing for that. Let's see, place one here, here, and here. I think that should be sufficient. Place a nice little alley behind the church. Keep everyone good and occupied. Okay. Uh, we also want to get some extra laborers in so I can build an additional forager's quarters. There we go. And get some more food coming in because I'm not confident how much longer we're going to keep getting this. I mean, we have some raw food coming in. That's certainly true. Uh, motivation's looking pretty high, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to standard meals for now. And just enjoy the extra rations for the time being. Upgraded docks is done. Okay. So how much does that cost me? 60 wood? Ugh. All right. Um, well, hmm. Could start working on things like the machine shop, which lets us get the steam exchangers, which I know I will need for the next stage. Uh, we could go for more foragers. Form an additional team. Am I not allowed to build another one right now? If I wanted to? Oh, yeah, there can only be one. So if I want to get more foragers in the first place, I have to go for this. All right, so let's do that next. Uh, we definitely want to be upgrading our docks so we are able to get additional resources in. I don't know if that just means more per barge or if everyone works faster. Uh, I guess it kind of doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we need all of it. So that's what we're going to do. So progress here is looking solid. Um... Still says it's unsafe, but that's partly because it's not working right now, so the ventilation plant isn't doing its thing. Looks to me... Okay, toxic gas concentration will rise. If I flip this over... It still says it's going to be low. Which means we don't really need to... What's the advantage of running this every day unless you have... I guess that's only useful if you have double shifts. Yeah, that's probably it. If people are working literally every day, you're in double shifts, so you work day and night, that's probably when that would be useful. Outside of that, probably not. That makes sense, right? I think it makes sense. All right, well, we're dealing with a lot of the sick people, so that's certainly good. Um, we probably can actually go ahead and pull some people back here and assign... Is there any advantage to sending more to the factory inspectorate? I guess I actually have no idea. Eh, all right. Well, we'll just we'll deal with the book of laws and stuff in just a little bit. Get that motivation high, please. Stop getting demotivated. I'm doing everything I can to make you happy. Yes, I decided to go with a technocratic oligarchy rather than 
supporting the trade labor unions, but that's beside the point. I'll take good care of you. I've taken good care of you up to this point. All right, I'm trustworthy. Um, sawmills, charcoal, all of that sounds tempting, but I'm not sure it's really necessary. We should work on the machine shop so we can start learning how to build steam exchangers, which I think are very similar to building at the profiles, but you need uh, steel for those. So we're going to need a huge stockpile of steel. But I'm also really low on wood at the moment, so I mean, if I can upgrade some docks and stuff right about now, that would probably be pretty good. There's the forger's quarters right there. Uh, but I don't have extra people, so it's kind of irrelevant. Upgrade the docks. Oh, this is a cool little feature. Look at that. Yeah. All right, so we'll go for some extra wood. Transport has arrived with more labor. Lovely. What's going on here? A bonus. An engineer from the factory inspectorate comes to talk to you. I have great news, boss. To celebrate the opening of our inspectorate, the company sent us a shipment of fine tobacco. It's a rare delight in these times. Wouldn't it be nice to share it with the workers? It would strike risk falls for two days or efficiency rises by 10% for two days. For everything? I don't plan on going into a strike anyway, so let's go for the efficiency and just try to get extra resources then. Just a flat increase if possible. All right, so there's our extra workers. What happened? Now, last warning, you missed your milestone. Oh, no. Due to the difficulty of your task, the authorities agreed to give you one last chance. You will have to meet all future milestones. No exception. Any delay, even the slightest, will result in your termination. That's actually a failure condition? Dude, that's harsh. And I was only like a couple hours off. Ah, that sucks. All right, we finished building structure part one. Milestone achieved. Next milestone, build the foundations. Before laying the foundations, which will support the massive bulk of the generator, you have to send your workers deep below the ground level and install the powerful tower pumps there. Okay, so to do that, we need 10 structural profiles and 10 steam exchangers. I've got four of these right now. So I could queue up a couple more. Um, we need to get four more of these, so let's prioritize this for now, send some more workers to make sure we speed it up, and let's gather up all of the lumber, steel, and so on, at least for the moment. Okay, like so, that should be fine, get as many resources as we can. Um, what do I need right now? We've already got everything I need for research, we probably could cool it for a bit. I mean, a sawmill up upgrade would give me extra wood. If we start placing down sawmills, but do I really want that? What I really think I want is another one of these Forger's Quarters, but I need 35 wood for that one. Let's go to Book of Laws. Um, we could continue down administration, but I don't think that's necessary. I don't plan on doing overcrowding, rations for the ill, and so on yet, so let's go back to labor. Uh, after hours, equipment maintenance reduces the likelihood of an accident, but discontent rises permanently. Still, safety first. Extended shifts will let me get a lot more, but increase discontent. Overseers? What's this? Overseer station raises efficiency in nearby workplaces by 15%. Wait, really? Ooh. Ooh. Um, but we can also have an ability. Overseer's inspection increases motivation, but also strike risk. But it doesn't have to be a thing. That's an activatable ability. This is the passive boost, which is really good. Internal promotion promotes five workers, two engineers, and motivation rises because people realize they can climb the corporate ladder. Oh, that sounds good. I don't know. Um, short shifts is good for increasing work safety. Uh, this could be good for emergencies, though I would probably use extended shift most of the time. Ha, hoo, ha, ho, ha, ha, ha. If I were to go to extended shift, that's a couple extra hours of work. It causes discontent. But extra work is extra work, ain't it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of this. Um, extended shifts. Let's do it. It's going to upset a lot of people. But it's going to have to happen. And all you peoples who are gathering resources, keep doing it. Keep doing it faster. All right? Okay. Um, right. So we wanted to go for the Forger's Quarters so I can set up another team of people. That's going to upset some folks. What are they saying? What? 10 hours isn't enough? I suppose in our circumstances. 14... Oh, it's four extra hours. Even better than I thought! All right, let's place down another one of these Forger's Quarters. And get that a running. What's happening here? Abandoned site. Your first milestone is complete. Try to keep to the schedule. 
Meanwhile, after funding cuts in a catastrophic accident at Site 107, the project was scrapped and remaining workers scheduled for evacuation. If you can spare the men, order forgers to search these coordinates and recover whatever materials you can. We will have far from enough generators to evacuate everyone should the unthinkable happen. Your task is now even more important. Okay, so one of the generators failed, which means we need to uh, ensure that we get this built so that no one dies on our watch. I don't want to be held responsible for none of that action, do you? I don't think so. Um... Okay, I don't need to increase the number of times people are working here. Right now, it's more or less safe, right? It's unhealthy. If I change this, harmful, yes, but no risk of a strike. And let's be honest, that's what really matters. Uh, for the generator, we do need to build a machine shop, but I need wood. Primarily just wood. Okay. And we are building how many more of these things? We need three more. Okay, let's back off on this for a second. Got a lot of people working on this. Do I get them started immediately on the next round of structure? Kind of depends. Am I on schedule? I'm six hours behind schedule. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not exactly good. I miss having automatons. That would work all day and night. Those were great. Why can't we have more of those? I liked them. Um, well, I'm not really sure what's best here. It looks to me like the toxic gases are going up. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious about sending more people to work. Ah, oh, man. All right, well, at least the extended shifts are going to get me some extra resources a lot faster. Due to the high motivation, efficiency increases by 30%. That's always good. Free time should be ending. And most people are going to work at 6 a.m. anyway. So here come the resources. Love it. All right, so... I guess we should go ahead and build the machine shop. Right? Yeah. Let, let, let's, let's build the thing. And let's make sure we get a couple more of these... And that's it, right? Yeah, that'll be the 10 that we need. So that's all the profiles we need unless we find ourselves in a situation where I cannot, for some reason, get um, uh, enough safety and I have to build some more profiles that way. I'm going to go ahead and pull all the workers off of here, though. So far, gases are bad, but we're okay-ish. Um, so is the Forger's Hut thing done? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up another team. Use up some wood and some steel. Oh, this looks new. Nature's Sculpture. We see something in the distance that looks like a gigantic statue. That sounds good. Let's go over there. Maybe that's where we need to be. You guys are on the way with a transport with some more food. Hopefully you guys are done soon-ish. Looks like we used up the hunting grounds, and that's why last time we were able to send off our teams. Yeah, food is a finite resource in this game, aside from fish. So we need to be careful about that. You guys can go back to the hearty meals. I'm going to pull most of the workers back, though, because we honestly are fine on rations right now. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some resource stockpiles so we can uh, hold on to a bit more. That might be good. Hold on to more wood, hold on to more coal, whatever it's going to be for emergencies. I don't know. Something. Something's got to be done. Book of Laws. So if we go to labor... Do I want to go for the overseers? Kinda, yeah. I feel like this is good. Alright, let's do it. So if I place down overseer stations, this probably requires engineers to man them. Um, labor, there it is. Okay, 15 wood, that's manageable. Uh, okay, it does not fit on the roads like the chapel, shrines, and stuff. If we place down over here, we can improve the speed at which people are unloading coal from the docks, which doesn't strike me as too important. Can place here and improve the speed of the cookhouse. Uh, okay, hang on. What about here, though? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place it right here. We can get a whole bunch of buildings faster. Yes, I want one of those there. And... I don't have enough wood. No, I do have enough wood. Where can I place this? Here? This would speed up my research. That's pretty decent. I guess that's okay. I'm not researching anything at the moment, but alternatively, can I find a way? These guys are spread so far apart. I was wondering if I can maybe find a way to get my wood going a bit faster. And the answer is yes, if I build right here. And this still gets me the workshops I was looking for. I've been planning on putting a workshop right here, but this is better because it lets me do... Okay, this is good. Yes, let's do that. I need the wood production to go up. 15% extra efficiency for everything, dang it. What's going on here? Troubled father. 
Sir, a worker received a letter from his wife informing him that one of his daughters is gravely ill. Dire news such as this may impact the morale of the crew. Should we redact the part about the sick daughter? Censor the letter or don't? Uh, discontent. We have ways of burning off discontent. The father doesn't need to know that his daughter is gravely ill and likely to die before he returns home. He doesn't need to know these things. And we work on a need-to-know basis. Thank you very much. Let's get some extra coal storage going on. That could be pretty helpful. Uh, what should we research next? The foundry? Just learn how to make it, I guess? What's this supercharge thing? Allows us to supercharge the steam exchangers used at the construction site to speed up work on the generator. Each use advances work progress by 10% and costs five steam exchangers. So it's just a guaranteed immediate improvement in case I'm falling behind. That could be helpful. Uh, mechanical calculators would be good. That could lead to things that I... What was that flash of white there? I don't know what safety improvements does. I'll bet you it's good, though. More safety improvements. Okay, so it looks like safety increases at some of the specific factories. But ventilation, more efficient fans and stuff, that could be huge. Resource depots, sawmill upgrades, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess if we're ever going to use sawmills, I'd like them to be better. This is expensive, though. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think what we should do instead is go ahead and upgrade the steel dock. Because I'm pretty sure we're about to use a lot of our steel up. So we've already got all we need here. So what I need to do is assign some workers here, 20 of them, and start building a bunch of these. I can build 10 that uses every ounce of steel that I've got. Okay. We can also... Well, we have no risk of strike, so I guess I don't need to improve our safety standards. Let's just go faster. Yeah, okay. So let's just do this and build as fast as we can. And, actually, because of the factory inspectorate, it just improved a little bit, so now it's only unhealthy. Still no risk of a strike. This is good. Oh, hello. Okay, um, we need engineers to go to... The Overseer Stations? This one's still being built. It's being built rather slowly, but it is being built. So this should be in speeding the efficiency. We're up to 122% efficiency here. Look how fast they go now. Oh, and now it's dangerous again. Gosh dang. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We could increase the... the, um, the uh, what am I trying to say? The shifts and stuff, but we don't need to do that. All right, let's go ahead and assign a couple of engineers here, and we get motivation rising because we fulfilled a promise, and we have oversight everywhere we look, which strikes me as pretty good. I've actually got an extra engineer sitting around somewhere. Let's put him over... Um, let's put him over here, I guess, for now. What's going on at the nature sculpture? As we suspected, it's just a tall rock sculpted by winds into a shape from a certain angle that looks like a standing human. We can move on to the field kitchen. That sounds like food. I want it. Bring it to me. All right. So that's all good to go. Um, we have a bit of resources. We should probably go ahead and research the foundry and just do it. I could increase work shifts and stuff right now, but we don't have the resources to back all that up anyway. So this is all going to get built super duper fast as long as the gas doesn't get worse, which it looks like it is indeed rising tomorrow. That sucks. Um... Strike risks are fairly high at the moment. Improving work safety, of course, is going to be a good way to get around that, but... I like how some days we're worried about research, uh, we're worried about safety, and other days we're like, eh, optional. Okay, who cares? Who really cares about it, though? Uh, let's reduce this down by one so I can build up another upgraded dock, and we'll just finish this off. While people are free to build tonight, you know? We might as well just have better docks so we have more coal production on the off chance I need it, right? Why queue all this up at the moment? We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. It's an optional thing to do. All right, what do we reach? We reached the field kitchen. We found no food. Gosh dang it. Though it must have been used recently, there's still some water and two large pots inside. Okay, and we get to Site 107. That's where we were supposed to go. Okay, perfect. So we'll go and find out what's going on over there at the failed generator build site. This is really interesting, this whole mechanic here. So we're not really worried about temperature. Like, the temperature doesn't rise and fall, but we do have to worry about the gas rising and falling. So that's kind of where there's a similar mechanic. Um, we still have six people unemployed. I guess we can, for now, toss all of them in the public house. Or actually, maybe I prefer to have... Maybe I prefer to have them all over here in the coal pile for now. What do we want to order? We need more things. More people. Um, we probably need another another um, steam core. 
And then a few more engineers. Sure, order this. And you know what, just for good measure, on the off chance we end up having an amputee in the near future, let's just go ahead and have this around. Nah, we'll worry about that later. Alright. Order stuff. Bring in more people. Uh, I don't know how we're doing in terms of population. We should be fine, though. Motivation's still looking good day by day, so we're getting all that extra efficiency boost. I mean, that is pretty significant, I think. Resources are starting to come in. That's great. Steel's definitely on the slower side, though. But I've got everyone working over here as fast as I can. 27.7 per hour is just not... It's just not amazing, is it? Um, if we go here, steel producing a uh -huh, 97 per day. Only 97 per day, though. Well, um, if I have extra laborers, I guess I can click on the pile and just assign more people over here. They don't have to work at the reloading station, per se. This is sort of optional. I don't know how I feel about any of that, though. Are these guys going to be done with the food thing pretty soon? Because I feel like they've delivered about everything. We probably should go exploring some more. There's the foundry researched. Okay, so we can learn how to do supercharging. Uh, let's make sure we get a couple more in there. Do we have... Yes, that will be all we need for the ten. Uh, then we can pull workers off and start building aggressively in the shaft structure. How are we looking in terms of time? We are only three hours behind schedule. So I feel like that's pretty legit. We've reached site 107. There are still people here, packing their belongings and preparing dozens of coffins for transport. How grim. A young engineer approaches us. Hello, you are from the cutscene. The young engineer, who introduced herself as Effie McLachlan, is relieved to see us. I'm glad you came. We are to be evacuated, but you just can't be sure in these times, she says. Then she tells us what happened. Long story short, the core of their generator exploded after a fire broke out in the final stages of construction. Effie says she saw the tragedy coming, but no one listened to her, the youngest engineer on site. She and some friends are not giving up. They want to use their experience to help us finish our generator. Take them to our camp? Absolutely we take 12 more engineers to our camp. We can handle that, I'm sure. I'm actually not convinced how much we can handle in terms of food, but we'll try. Long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shifts for days on end. Their effort is taking its toll, and they're becoming restless. They deserve a break, and they may go on strike if you ignore them. Regular shifts everywhere for three days. I want to address this right now. Um, what I need to know... Okay, so strike risk, as far as I'm aware, occurs here, here, and here. But I don't know... There is no strike risk at the places where I'm actually using... The extended shifts. I'm not doing it in these places, so I, that does not actually impact me in any meaningful way. Is what I'm taking out of that. Let's build the pressure valves right here. It's kind of cool that we're building this up from the ground up. This is really cool. This is a really, really cool scenario. It is, honestly. Super duper cool. Alright, can we do any more research? I would love to go ahead and work on the mechanical calculators. I need 50 steel for that, though. Yikes! Well, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there sooner than we think. There we go. Got it. Okay, next... Mechanical calculators, go! Is there a strike chance here? No? Then extended hours for you, suckers! You get 15% extra efficiency and stuff anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discontent is high, blah, blah, blah. We are nine hours behind schedule because I don't have anybody working over here. But we'll have that momentarily. I just need to finish these up and we'll be good to go. Good fishing spot has been depleted. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so we can go to the mountain pass, which sounds like... Reindeer tracks? Eh, maybe. Bald Hill? Let's go to Bald Hill. See if I can find anything new. I need to find food that's relatively close to home. That, that seems important so we can actually have a continuous source. We're doing okay on raw food for now. But if you only can have two teams, it's not a lot. Feels like it's not enough anyway. Alright, so we made some good progress. If I had these guys working 24-hour shifts and emergency shifts and stuff, that'd be even better. Oh, we should go over to the chapel and do some prayers. I forgot about that. Let's get that discontent back, uh, sorry, motivation back up and a running. I'm hoping... Hey, we have more people. I'm hoping that um, we are going to be able to ventilate more gases with this next tech level and make things a little bit safer so I don't have to worry about it. So there's the extra steam exchangers and structural profiles, which is helpful. A steam core and 12 more engineers. No one is even homeless at the moment, which is even better. So let's go ahead and assign some engineers to the outpost so they can be our benevolent overseers. And I am debating whether or not it is worth building another station specifically over here just so we can speed up 
our steel production, because steel feels like it's a little slow, doesn't it? I think I think I think it is. I think it's slow. I think it makes sense. Um, can I not build around here? Good lord, that's confusing. You can't build through this corner. Seems like an oversight to me. Build back over here, and then up over here. Stupid! All right, roads don't go around docks if you build in this corner. Just a word to the wise. But fine, 15% more efficiency gathering steel. That seems like a very smart idea, uh, I hope. Forges have reached Bald Hill, and we have arrived with more engineers and labor and steam cores, and now we do have homeless people. Okay, so we need uh, another tent, which we'll place right over um, here, I guess. This seems fine. And then we should go to Bald Hill. There's nothing here, okay. We can go to the Lost Crates. That sounds like freebies. I'm going there. And then for you, you can go to the nesting place and find some boards. Get their eggs, all right? Forget nature. Forget endangered species. None of these things really matter at the end of the day, all right? All that matters is that we are going to win. How are we looking in terms of labor? Uh, we got five people currently unemployed. We got some engineers sitting around doing nothing. Let's improve the public house. Uh, we can assign a few more over here as well. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. Still got two left, eh? All right, we got enough engineers to work with for once. So that's about to change once we finish this. And five workers. Five workers. I guess we can go ahead and just assign them here, even though it is currently deadly. <sighs> that's a problem. Um, maybe we don't want to do that, do we? I need to be ending up this video, but let's let's do this real quick. There's the mechanical calculators. We'll finish. Oh, not a strike! Gosh, dang it! All the yeah, all right. Negotiate. What's wrong? They refuse to work. Enter wor better working conditions. Ways the working safety above dangerous. Three days past short shift. Give them food. Might escalate. All right, fine. There, it's no longer dangerous. Problem solved, right? You need to go back to work. It's no longer, it's not dangerous anymore, so it's fine. There. Now I don't even need you to work here anymore. All right, so you guys need to be working here as well, but this is still dangerous. Will it be dangerous once I start working? I don't know. That's the thing, because it doesn't show you that this thing is going to take effect right away. Um, it should go down by another level, which means I will still have, I think, minus two, which is not considered dangerous which means it's fine, though I could use structural profiles to make it even better and reduce the strike risk further. But we'll come back to that in the next video and sign some more laws. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe, and I, as always, will see you guys next time.